We have new details on that large train derailment at the CSX rail yard in Selkirk last night. 18 cars derailed, four of them carrying hazardous materials. While none of the dangerous material was spilled, the officials say this incident sheds light on some serious issues. News 10 ABC's Rachel Alcunas has more on their concerns. A lot of county officials are telling me they're very concerned about yesterday's derailment here at the Selkirk Rail Yard. Now, while there's no law requiring railroad operators to notify the county, County Executive Dan McCoy says there's just no reason for that communication gap. I've never seen so many trains on top of each other. These pictures of Wednesday night's train derailment has county officials calling for action. 18 cars at the Selkirk Rail Yard crunched like an accordion. You've got one car that's got a corrosive in it. You've got um, metal up against a couple propane cars. Everything is twisted. It's uh, it's a big pile up. The DEC tells me no hazardous materials leaked or spilled. As of 3 p.m. Thursday, CSX says all but three cars are positioned for removal. A difficult and tedious job that happened because of human error. The DOT and Federal Railroad Administration investigated this derailment. I reached out to them to learn what happened. They emailed me this statement saying the cause was due to a safety device left on the track. County Executive Dan McCoy says he's concerned with the lack of communication, reaching out to U.S. officials like Congressman Paul Tonko for support. I went to Congressman Tonko's office to talk about these concerns. He tells me he agrees. Certainly, we don't want communities to be put at higher risk because of weak communications. And so it's important for us to determine what that most effective communication is about. In July, McCoy proposed legislation that would require rail companies to report derailments to the county within 30 minutes. I asked County Legislature Chairman Sean Morse where that stands. He tells me they are working diligently. I've shared it with the Majority Leader Frank Camisso, and he's now in the process of having language drafted up with the county attorney. When that is finished, Morse tells me they will then present the legislation to the legislature. And County Executive Dan McCoy says that that is crucial to him because as a county executive, he is the one to issue a state of emergency. So communication is key. Reporting in Selkirk, I'm Rachel Yankunis, News 10, ABC.